Hello, my lovely people. It's Miss Beat to a T, and today I'm here with a new look for you all. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm glad to have you. So today, my client requested a mushroom cut, and also she wants to get her hair taken back down to her natural color. So today, I have recorded this look for you all. I'm going to give you this look from beginning to the end. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and enjoy. So now that I have um, the shape pretty much cut out I'm going to go ahead and section her off for her relaxer and after I apply the relaxer I'm going to um, cut the top part to blend it into the back and the sides so right now I'm just applying some um, base relaxer base to get her prepared for her chemical service and this is just going to help with burning if she happens to burn um, and yeah, I'm just going in with the applicator brush and the relaxer and going all the way in um, from roots to the ends. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm doing right here. Um, making sure I reply, apply the relaxer all the way from the roots to the ends. And we're going to do this all the way through. applied the relaxer all the way through my four sections and right now I am combing the relaxer through and this is just going to help her hair get straight straighten it out help that relaxer work through and get those um, hair strands straight and more more than likely with a virgin relaxer you don't always get the hair completely straight on the first go round um, it would be better if your stylist used a um, relaxer that works slowly, a uh, slower. So usually professional grade relaxers that work slower are sensitive scalp relaxers. I um, if, I would def definitely recommend that for your um, first chemical service, especially when receiving a virgin relaxer, just to give that hair time to break down. Um, usually regular professional relaxers, they work rather quickly. Um, and being that we're doing a virgin relaxer, this is her first relaxer on virgin hair that's never been chemically processed um, with a relaxer, it's gonna take a little more time to break that hair strand down. So yeah, I would definitely recommend a 
Texas Let's Start Relaxing. So I'm going to work this relaxer through her strands about two to three times. Um, having many times really that I can get, uh, you know, work the relaxer through, I will. Usually when dealing with virgin hair, you want to work that relaxer through about three times and that'll get it straight. Um, you definitely want to pay attention to the client's hair, even though she is natural or a client may be natural depending on their hair type you will want to watch that relaxer because some people hair strands are not as strong as others so you just want to watch for shedding popping things like that she does have a little shedding going on only because she didn't really comb her hair out before the relaxer so she has a lot of tangles and the, the, the relaxer is definitely getting those tangles out get a chance to record her color process but as you can see we took her back down to um to a natural color she's about a 1b but i did use a demi permanent silk and black um when doing chemical processes i usually use a demi uh, permanent color when using doing a chemical process so it's definitely it's basically a double, I can't talk right now, sorry y'all. <laughs> it's basically a um, double chemical process, so you want to be very careful with this. Again, you want to um, definitely do a consultation and um, just be mindful of the client's hair texture. Some hair textures can take a little bit more than and some can't. Being that she's natural and she has coarse texture, she can take a little more. Um, so I usually go in with a either a semi-permanent or a demi-permanent and I use a very mild developer. I usually don't go above two levels. I do one level and that just helps the color to last a little longer. Um, usually demi-permanent colors grow out. They don't um, fade, but in some cases they do. All right, so now I'm just going through and I'm cutting her hair and getting the shapes together. And yeah, it's looking good.
so we are about halfway through with her cut now I'm at the top of her head I'm sectioning off the top in four sections and then I'm making subsections within that section to blend the back of the hair and the, the sides of the hair to the back and the sides if that makes sense <laughs> Um, I'm holding her hair at a 45 degree angle and, um, well, no, I think I'm at a 90 right here and then I'm going to take it to a 45 degree angle just to give, um, a little weight on it with a mushroom or a bowl cut. It does have, um, some weights at the ends of the hair where it's cut. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. And the way I cut is a little unorthodox, um, I learned my cutting techniques from my mother watching her in the salon. Um, yes, I am a second generational cosmetologist. My mother did hair for over 30 years. I am only 13 years into the industry. So I consider myself to still be a rookie, but I have picked up a lot of skills from my mother. So yeah, the way I cut is a little unorthodox, but the end result is always what matters. So that's what I'm doing here, you guys. I'm just finishing up her cut. And yeah, that's what I'm doing here. So my client has a little thinning around the edges. Um, and that's why she requested this cut because she wants to start fresh. So the look is very much close to what she wants as time goes on and we grow her hair back out that will fill in um, and it would the cut will really come together but right now I'm definitely giving her what she wants and with time we're gonna grow those edges back and her haircut is going to be flawless okay so I molded my client down put it under the dryer now she's from under the dryer so I'm going back in with my clippers and I am um, creating the shape for the back of her head or the nape area. And um, just use some different techniques to blend it out and get that faded look that I want. Um, like I said before, the way I cut is a little unorthodox. I think every stylist has their style of cutting. Um, this is mine. I do a lot of different technique, clip, techniques. Um, clipper over comb sheer over comb um, I cut with the guard as you see here anything to do anything I need to do to get the the, the dot I'm sorry y'all I'm getting tongue twisted anything I need to do to get the desired results there we go and yeah so that's what I'm doing right here um, being sure not to cut too high because I don't want to take the shape away from the top of her head and now I am taping her up. And then next we're gonna get into the curling. This is a half inch flat iron to get the shorter areas of um, her cut, of her hair in the cut. And um, just making sure to bevel it, give it um, a nice shape. And I'm going to do this all the way through. And then eventually I'm going to switch up to my larger, here we go, flat iron for the top. And... Um, Make sure I bevel it correctly to give it some volume. And yeah, her hair looks so good. It's really healthy. And this color looks really good on her. It's very becoming and it fits her. So yeah, I'm just going through with my flat iron and 
putting those um, curls in it. Not really curls. I'm more like just beveling it to, just to give it shape. y'all so we have the curls in there and I'm just going through with my styling comb and styling it to my desired lightness I'm kind of a perfectionist when it comes to styling hair so I cut out a lot of it but this is the end result you guys look at those layers her hair looks so good and like I said she has a little bit thinning on the side as you can see um, as time goes on we're going to get that hair back to shape but anyhow, if you enjoyed this look, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And thank you all for viewing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you again next week with a brand new look.